scientists predict that the first person to live to 200 may have already been born. What if I told you that you were going to live to 200 years old? How would living for so long change us, change society? In 2018, Sunlam turned 100 and wanted to prove they were looking ahead and not living in the past. So we created a story based on a seemingly impossible scientific prediction to show just how radically we all need to think about the future. There is this thing called aging, and we haven't been able to do anything about it until now. Introducing The 200-Year-Old, a five-part audio series that took a message from an insurance company to the top of the South African podcast charts. In its first month, it was more popular than many of the biggest celebrity podcasters and made national headlines. What did we have to change drastically as people started to live longer? The story followed Sam Nguenya, a journalist in 2218, on assignment to tell the biggest story of his time. Each episode was built around an interview in a virtual memory space with Lesedi Ndaba, the first person to turn 200 years old. It's Lesedi's 200th birthday in a few days and I'm a little anxious. You know, getting her to talk to me on the record hasn't been easy. All right, are you ready to begin? <laughs> Are you ready? But telling her story becomes increasingly personal, not least because Sam is her great-great-great-great-grandson and his family has turned their backs on her in the past. It's the ultimate act of selfishness. As one generation extends its life indefinitely, the next generation suffer. Eventually, Sam travels across South Africa to an emotionally charged climax and a final understanding of the human cost of two centuries of life. Look, if you know you have to live for a long time with the consequences of your action, then you tend to think a bit more. We succeeded in getting much of our audience to listen to an hour of branded content about preparing for the future and also helped to take podcasting mainstream in South Africa.